and this button over here, bloop, it uses the timer blocks and gets all of these these guys going. Hello everybody and welcome back to some space engineers on the NID whitelisted server. So today we have some success. Now I've made some progress. I did a ton of testing. Um, so here let's give you a little sneak peek first. So this is actually in the survival world. This is on the actual multiplayer server. Um, thank you so much for all of your guys' help. Uh, we'll get to all of your things one at a time here soon, but um, I just wanted to show you this really quick. So here I am, floating away. Uh, whoop, whoop, look at that. Okay, we have two bars already connected, and this is the third one. I haven't done the top yet because I, I started getting scared. Things were jiggling a bit. <laughs> if you look here, you'll see that things are, are jiggling a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah, so figured before everything went to hell, I wanted to show you that I actually have some success here. I tried a bunch of different methods. So um, first of all, I want to say a huge thank you to uh, Kevin Pittman, Elemental Blaze 79 and David Aguirre. And thank you for uh, the phonetic way of, of pronouncing that. <laughs> I hope I did it right. Um, but yeah, David, Elemental and Kevin all suggested that I merge the merge blocks one at a time. Um, I tried doing it in a numerous different ways. So uh, this guy, no, that's my, I brought all the ships in for lighting. Um, also, uh, is it, uh, I think it was David. Yeah, David said that I should, um, you know, put uh, spotlights all the way around here. I haven't done that yet, but I'm definitely going to. Uh, it'll help with light. But for now, what I've done to help with light, and I think it's working, is I've just brought all my ships in, right? So I've got, I've got this guy, uh, the crane, the, um, the pick, and the welder bots or bots uh, ships all here with all their lights pointing and so far so good yeah it's getting light but so originally what I tried to do was I was using this guy right had the big long bar along him with the three merge blocks and I was trying to just line it all up and then connect all three at the same time you guys said that was a bad idea and it was <laughs> we saw the result of that last time um, but basically what I try to do after that is, okay, so I line the thing up with the three different pistons, just like we were doing before. And then I try to just, you know, extend one of these pistons up into it. So extend the first one up and then, and then I was going to do the second and the third. But what kept happening is I would extend it up and it would merge and the ship would jiggle and move like in a, in like kind of like move around a bit. And then the top of the piston would come flying off. Like it would be merged with the merge block to the ship, but the top of the piston head and the piston were no longer connected. And yuck, it was horrible. I tried it a couple times, wouldn't work. So um, after that, what I tried to do was, um, I think, yeah, what I did is I actually tried to use um, a bar. I made like a, a whole line of blocks along the top here. It was actually connected to, to this frame at first, uh, ran it all the way across. I put the merge blocks facing down on each one and then I would extend uh, the first one up into it to merge it. And then I had to disconnect it, you know, from the other side from the thing, try and merge it up, connect them up, merge it up, connect it up, merge it up, connect it up one at a time. Same thing happened. No matter what I did, the, um, the heads would pop off every single time. I tried a couple of different methods. So those two, and I think I tried one other way of trying to make them merge up. Um, and it's still, no matter what I did, the heads kept popping off constantly. And that was even in creative, right? Like I, 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 um, I figured that if it wasn't even working in creative, there's no way it was gonna work in survival. So then this method. So I have the, um, the pistons, uh, looks a little odd, but uh, yeah, so the pistons come up here, right? I've got the, the, the blocks ready to, to connect together and these two guys ready to, to go. So when they come back down together, these top pieces should join up, then I should be able to connect. And, then I, and, and when I say should, uh, you already see that I've done it in these two places here. So let's, let's do this. Let's get this going. Let's see if I can get one whole side done here. So what I've been doing so far is using the control panel here, right? And you can see I've got them named um, just so I know which one is which while I'm working on this. So this one is over here, right? This one's over here. This one does the middle. Uh, so 
what I've been doing is I pull this guy into place. And it, it's a little finicky sometimes uh, where they come together, the lights come on, and they don't merge. Let's see if this happens again. So if we bring this down, I guess I don't need. All right, so they come into place and they merge. Okay. And then I'll bring this one down. So def definitely doing them one at a time. I actually tried to do this um, with like moving the middle piece, like leaving the two side ones and moving the middle piece into place. Uh, doing two at a time, uh, yeah, again, bad bad idea, don't do that. Uh, things break and explode. Uh, this though, this method, yeah, okay, so here, see, they're still white, they didn't seem to do the right thing, so if I uh, move it up, oh. Oh crap, okay, now they, now they went into place and I don't know what I've done anymore. Uh, no, normally what you can do is you jiggle it a little bit, right? You just hit, you hit the, the reverse and you jiggle it a little bit and then it merges into place. Uh, so now that they're all merged, uh, this is row three. Make sure that they're all going the same way. Okay, see they, uh, darn it. Yeah, and so it, they jiggled right off this time. It's probably because I hit the thing wrong. I was afraid of that. The, the tops are off, you can see. So the top's completely busted off there. Wasn't careful enough this time. They're really, really delicate. And if I do the first one, you'll see this one is perfect on two sides, but the one on the far right is broken. And if I pull those back in, we've got the ones in the middle. These ones are actually all nicely, perfectly together. So I have three completely different situations here. I've got the one on the bottom with one off, I've got the one on the top with two off, and one on the on the middle, which is perfect. Um, so, I'm thinking the best thing to do here is probably to redo this one because it's not really helping if the tops are off of two out of three. Um, this, and of course on the top here, I, you know, this isn't too bad to repair because it's, it's exposed, right? But these down ones down here on the bottom, like to remove this entire piston and rebuild it, I would have to take everything off the top as well and rebuild the entire structure. So that one's gonna have to stay broken, but I should be able to fix these two um, and then try and do the other side. So I'm gonna try and work on that now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly away. Um, also, I, actually, I guess before I do that, it's um, a couple of you guys, I think it was uh, uh, David and Kevin both mentioned that uh, I needed these conveyor blocks in the middle to connect up all the stuff. Um, that was actually my plan. I know in the, uh, it might not have looked like that one, especially when I was in the creative world last time where I had the, uh, I had these made out of um, steel blocks, uh, but th that was just in the creative world. In, in this world, I was totally planning on doing that, but definitely thank you for the, the reminder just in case I forgot, because that's totally a possibility as well. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so yeah, I think that's, I think that's everything for, for this, for this setup anyway. Uh, so thank you guys very much. I'm so happy I've actually have a solution that seems to be working. I hope that this holds together and I have to repeat it on both sides. So let me, uh, let's see if I can get this whole thing built on both sides. I'll come back and um, we'll start putting some welders on and see how that looks. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've been doing some work here. So what we got now is a full set of bars on both sides. So these guys are all, I think these are the ones that we were working on before. Yeah, this is the one we were working on before. Um, I managed to get that one connected and I'm trying to get this side here reconnected about five times. Every single time the stupid thing pops off. So I'll work on that later. There must be a way, maybe I'll have to redo both sides and get them to go in. Cause I, I got actually a pretty good little routine going on the other side. But so if we look at this one and I did, I put spotlights around. So hopefully that'll help with some lighting. Uh, so let's go into, whoops. So if I expand the first one, and so yeah, this one has the broken one on the bottom right, which I don't think I'll be able to fix without having to tear the whole thing apart. I think I've got everything set. So if I go um, row one, I think everything is set to nine meters. I've been doing that as I went go along, so that's nine meters. The next one now extends out to 
nine meters. And I'm doing them one at a time because uh, that's safer. <laughs> I don't really want to um, have them explode on me. So they're, and this will all be timed in the future. But yeah, so these now all extend out. You'll see this one again is also broken at uh, five times or so to get that to hook up. But this side is the side I've done. And my new technique on this side was, is I actually did it really close to the, to the pistons, right? So I just actually went up and then had the two spaces right here and then connected it all that way. And it worked. It was a lot easier to do actually. And it worked a lot better, it seemed. So if we look at, oh, got that thing, my lighting bot, <laughs> which is what it's become, uh, is right in the way. So let's just move you down a bit and then off to the side maybe. We'll just have you point in so you're not in the way of our view. So let's head back down to this one now. I just set these up uh, temporarily on either side so that uh, we I could control these things as I as we go. So this one, these should all be set to nine as well. Now I'm paranoid about it, so let's go top. Okay, so those are extended. These ones now are extending. Whoops, that's not what I was trying to do. Let's back it up. You can see what this thing's gonna look like. Now hopefully I've done all this right and nothing will explode. Ah, no explosion. But yeah, there we go. So finally got it. So thank you again for all your help. If it wasn't for your guys' suggestions and comments, I don't think it would have gotten this far, but I persevered. And uh, now we have pistons that extend out and make a full conveyor grid in this. Doesn't that look snazzy? I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So the next thing that we need to do now is the welders. So the way that I had these arranged before was I put like this and then this one should get this one beside it and then so if I put one here right that should get the one beside it so it's two in between each one all the way along okay. yeah that's so annoying probably should have done the other side first but you get the idea so yeah, so these will all be along like this. Because I'm going to have to, if I'm going to try and fix that. That's so annoying that these things, they're so easy to, to pull off. So easy. And it worries me a bit, but I mean, it does have two. This one has three, right? But I, I guess I should really try to get that fixed. But So if uh, let's do the other side then. At least this will kind of give you an idea of what this is going to look like. Wrong here? Why are they not lining up again? So one, two, and two, and two. Oh, they are. <laughs> all right, there we go. And all the way across. All right, so these now we'll get those, and then the the teeth kind of go down from here, right? So if I or up in this sense. We'd have one set going like this on one side, and then on the inside over here, instead of it being on the same line, it would be, so I'd put this one like that, and then that one like that, All right? So when they come together, they won't um, intersect each other, but Right, this one should get the block here, and this one should get the block here, so there shouldn't be any holes, I hope. <clears throat> we'll try this out for sure. But uh, but yeah, so 
that's what it's gonna look like with all the welders on there. So I guess probably what I should do now is just cut away once more and I'll get all the welders on there and then we can see it in its full glory. Like we're not gonna be able to try it out today, obviously. I don't have the, the, the tug and stuff ready, but but we can, uh, we can at least have the welders on here and we can see what it looks like when all of that is finished and we'll retract it all down. So let me, let me do that, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and uh, for you it was like a few seconds and for me it was a whole day. <laughs> well, not, a, not an entire day, I guess. I had to uh, go to work and come back because uh, all this stuff takes longer than, it, than I ever think it does. But as you can see here, so, oh, I didn't finish that one. Oops, missed that one somehow. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I welded up all of these guys and I welded up all the ones up there as well. And I did a little bit of playing around over here. Uh, so I've got some timer blocks over there and some other stuff. Uh, but the timer blocks is what I'm showing you right now. And if I hit the button here, this turns on all the lights. So I can uh, save power when I'm not around, I can flip them off. And this button over here, bloop, it uses the timer blocks and gets all of these these guys going so let's go over here, over here. Over here. you can see them all coming into play so the first one extends and when it's done then the next one will start extending I timed it up pretty good I think like basically right when when it finishes the next one starts and the two bottom ones are going at the same time and the two top ones are going at the same time or sorry like uh, row one on the bottom row one right row two row two so here watch this and boop, boop. All right, pretty pretty good timing, I think. Uh, yeah, so they all open up, and I think it looks pretty nifty when it's all extended. So happy I got this to work. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, for all your suggestions. I really appreciate them. Um, I guess while we're uh, what we're looking at here too, um, was it? Uh, I think it was Jr. Just got it in under the wire. Like while I was at work, he left me a comment saying that. Uh, the, um, the the distance should be good to uh, this probably like in the um, when he was making the comment on, on the last video right where um, these guys were a little bit closer so I should like I only sent them to nine I can go a little maybe nine point five or something but basically to get it so that the middle block still gets uh, hit by these by these guys but um, but he was saying that uh, this should be good enough for large ships, right? I should be able to get all of the blocks in large ships, but in small ships, not so much, which is fine. This was meant to build large ships. Uh, this, uh, for, for small ships, um, I have a, you know, I, uh, I know Nordic has already been building a, a shipyard. He probably, and he's making lots of small ships over there. Uh, but this, this was made for large ships. So people could make, you know, the massive uh, kind of things that, that we want to make on this server. So it's a niche. Um, maybe it can be modified in the future to do small ships as well, but you're right because the small ships have smaller blocks um, and there might be little gaps, I guess, maybe in places that the uh, these guys can't get, but you know, testing can figure that out. Um, but yeah, so this looks pretty cool and it works really well. So I got the timer blocks going here, just a basic setup, right? Uh, this one controls first row, second row, third row. Uh, there's a delay, this one calls this one, this one calls this one, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then the one over here, this guy triggers the first one. Uh, and then the reverse is also true. So if I hit this, they'll all go back down in, uh, in the same order, actually. So it still starts with the first row and then the second row and then the third row. But it, as far as people looking at it, it works, looks and works really nice. So I like that. Um, and so this, uh, and uh, for you guys, this has not been a super long episode. I think we're only just coming up on maybe 20 minutes or something like that. Uh, so a little bit shorter at this point, but for me, quite a long episode. Um, but I think this looks really good. The next thing that we need to do here though, is to get these conveyor lines all hooked into some sort of a system that can feed them, right? So we can actually try it out. Now, to do that though, I wanna have all of the cargo containers and all of the stuff that feeds it to be inside this asteroid, right? And I think I mentioned this in a previous video that that there's gonna be a base inside of this side of the asteroid and over here there'll be like a landing bay, a docking area where people can hook up and go in. So to get started on that, I figured what we might do at the end of this one is just start the, the drilling process. So. 
uh, what I've got set up over here is a piston with a drill. And basically I want this to be where you walk out. So if you came in here to do maintenance or to, or also maybe in the future, if this is, this actually is supposed to be a gigantic window um, as well. But anyway, we need to start off by just drilling through into here. And I want to drill straight through this asteroid right out to the other side. So I've got this piston on here with a drill and a cargo, basically might as well, you know, gather this uh, while we go. So I've got a, uh, a uh, sorter block that just is on drain all for everything. So anything that drill gets uh, will come down into here. And then just for aesthetical purposes, why not, right? I've put uh, a little rack that holds it into place. <laughs> Even though it's totally not needed. Um, I thought it was fun, and so I did it. <laughs> uh, so the next thing we want to do is turn this drill on. Drill, baby, drill. Um, and then we're gonna want this piston to extend out. Now it probably needs to go a bit slower than the default, right? The velocity should maybe be, I don't know, 0.1. Are you actually drilling? Uh, let's see what happens. Hopefully this doesn't blow everything up. Uh, reverse! Go! Yeah, that's working just fine. Yeah, so we'll just drill this through the rock. Now, I think most of this is just uh, stone at this point. There might be some, looks like maybe some ice in here too. And then as we get through, right, we'll have some iron and stuff in here as well. But yeah, this is just gonna extend through and drill all this. And while that's going, it should just be putting all of the ore into here for safekeeping. Yeah, it's sort of stone at this point. <laughs> so just got a lot of stone coming out. Uh, I'm gonna, you know what? You know what, what I'm gonna do one of these days um, is I'm gonna send all of the stone I collect over to from Spider-Man. If you don't know, Drunk Spider-Man makes what he calls the pooper. And it uh, takes gravel and he drops gravel and stone on everybody. So <laughs> I'm going to feed the beast and uh, send him some some uh, uh, some stone. Let's uh, get rid of these little floaters. I hate these guys. They just get in the way. Come on. There we go. working pretty oh we got into the uh iron there we go we got some iron in there so yeah so the process here um and this actually goes back to a conversation that i had a while ago with uh elemental blaze 79 who mentioned uh you know for like for drill in straight holes through um asteroids we can do this like using a station block drill it straight through with uh with these guys um and then we had this big long conversation too about how to make like 90 degree corners and all of that kind of stuff um, so if you're interested in that, I'll put the link in the description to that conversation. It's, uh, it's really awesome. But uh, basically what I'm going to do here, um, and when I get inside here, I'll, I'll see how I want to actually do this. I think I just want to hollow it out. So I, um, I might use more station blocks and stuff to do that, or more station drills and stuff. Basically, I want to hollow it out in there a little bit, and then probably just slowly expand. And I'll use that trick um, with the gravity, uh, maybe even a spherical gravity, or, or the square ones might work as well. But just to make sure that um, I set the limits, right? Like I did in the, in the first season when I was making the laboratory to make sure I don't drill right through the outside where I don't want to. But, um, but yeah, this will extend right out. When this is done, um, I'll just retract the, the, the piston here all the way back. I'll take off the drill head, put another piston on there, put the drill back on it, and then start the whole process again. Uh, and just keep going until I break out to the other side. Break on to the other side. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so that's, uh, I'm going to keep doing this. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, so the next time you see me, there should be a bunch of ore in that chest and a hole that goes straight through to the other side of this asteroid and we'll break right out the other side here. And that'll be where we set up maybe the main entrance, the doorway to come in over here um, and start hollowing out inside there. 
Um, I also want to start doing some more collabs and things of that nature. So we might be doing that in the next episode. Um, I've been chatting with uh, with Minty, and so we might do something together over at his base. So that should be pretty cool. I will talk to you guys next time, and I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.